Welcome to Easy Alim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning from two monematics. And our topic for today is vectors. Our subtopic is midpoints of a vector. So in this in this uh, lesson, we discussed um, position vectors. You notice you're going to use that position vectors in figuring out how to get a midpoint of a vector. So watch closely and you notice how we are using the um, the position vectors effectively. So let's say, for example, you have been given point A and B, pos uh, position vector A and B, where we know like our OA is going to be a uh, vector negative 1, 6, and then our OB from the diagram will be 5, 2. Now we have been told to look for OM. That is the question. And we are saying that M is the midpoint of AB, as you can see, it's on the center. So how are we going to do that? So if it's in the center, it means it's dividing A and B into halves, into two halves, so that this is a half and this is a half. Okay, so let's see how that is happening. So we are looking for OM. For us to go to move from the origin to M, we can use different direction. We can use OA, AM, or we can use OB, BM. So let's use OA. This is the same as OA plus AM. And remember, our OA is represented by A, and our AM, we're going to look at that. And remember, OB is represented by B. So AM, we do not have AM, we need to calculate that. AM, we are moving from A, not AM, AB. AM, yes, it's correct. So AM, we are moving from point A to M. This is the same as a half AB. Note that. So again, once again, we need to look for AB, and then we are going to combine everything. AB, we are moving from point A to point B. For us to move from point A to point B, we need to get to move from AO, then plus OB. So it's going to be AO plus OB. And remember, we said OA is A. So the opposite is going to be negative A plus OB, which is represented by vector B, which this is the same as B minus A. Now we have AB. So we go back to AM. We said that AM is going to be a half AB. And we have already determined like our AB is B minus A. So AM is going to be a half B minus A. So let's go back again to OM now that we have AM. So OM is going to be OA. OA is represented by vector A plus AM, which we've just found out is a half. B minus A. So this means that OM is A plus a half B plus minus a half A, which is the same as A, like terms together, minus a half A plus a half B, which gives us a half A plus a half B. This is now what we have. Right, so we do have A and we do have B. So if you want to get the exact coordinate of OM, it will be a half. A, remember we said it's negative one, six, position vector plus a half, position vector of B is five, uh, two. So this is the same as a half times one, which is negative a half, and a half times six, which will give us three. And then this one plus a half times five is five over two, and a half times two, which will give us two. Which, when we further work out, is going to be negative a half plus five over two, and three plus two. So the LCM of two and two is two. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so negative 1 plus LCM. So negative 1 plus 5 is 4 
over 2, which gives us 2. So the answer to OM is going to be 2, and then 3 plus 2 is 5. This is going to be our answer. So I hope how you've seen how we have worked it out. It's just repeat the steps again. You can pause the video and check the step one at a time until you get to the answer that we've just gotten. All right. So that's how you get the coordinates of a midpoint. So let's look at an unknown. Can we come up with like a formula to help us to get there instead of doing all that work? So given that A, O, A is X1, Y1, and coordinates of B is X2, Y2, we can come up with that formula. So if you want to get OM, once again, it's going to be O, A. We want to move from, from O to M, so we will go this direction. So it's going to be OA plus AM. So we do not have AM, so we have to look for AM. So our AM is going to be, so moving from here to here is the same as a half of AB. So we need to also look for AB. So our AB is going to be our A. B is going to be moving from A to B, you go to A, O, you move to this direction, A, O, and then plus O, B. And we know A, O, A is A. Say A, O is going to be negative A. And then our O, B is going to be B. So that our answer becomes B minus A. So our A, M is going to be a half into bracket B minus A. Hope you're getting that. All right, so our OM was OA plus AM. Our OA is represented by A plus our AM now is going to be a half B minus A. So we open the bracket, so A plus a half B minus a half a which is the same as a minus a half a plus a half b which is going to give us a half a plus a half b that's what we have for om now we have specific coordinates for a and for b so this is a half Coordinates of x is x1, y1, and then plus a half coordinate of b is x2, 2, y2. So if you open this bracket, it means it's a half x1, a half y1, plus a half x2, a half y2. Remember, multiplying with the scalar. You see how now we are merging different concepts and bringing them back here. So if we want to add, it's going to be a half x1 plus a half x2 and then a half y1 plus a half y2. So those are two, the two values. So this is going to be point 0.1. So point 0.1 is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and the second point is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So this one here is the same as the whole of this, and then this one is the same as this one. So whenever we have x1 and x2 and y1 and y2, we can be able to get the midpoint. So we said it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2 plus y1 plus y2 by 2. So for example, we have been given the coordinates of A and B, so we look for the midpoint. So you do the first question and the second and then you can do the rest. So we said the formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we have our x1 which is A, our A is negative 4 and 3 and our B is 2 and 0. So this is x1, y1. This is x1, y1, x2, y2, like that. 
So x1 plus x2, that means it's negative 4 plus 2 over 2. And then y1, which is 3, plus y2, 0 divided by 2. So negative 4 plus 2 gives us negative 2 divided by 2. And 3 plus 0 is 3 divided by 2. So this gives us negative 1, 3 over 2. And then for b, we have a is 0, 4, and b is 0, negative 2. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. And the formula we said is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So x1 is 0 plus x2 is 0 divided by 2 y1 is 4 plus y2 is negative 2 divided by 2. So this becomes 0. 4 plus minus 2, it becomes 2. So it's 2 divided by 2. So the answer is 0, 1. So you can work out C and D on your own. The questions, are, the answers are going to be in the app. You can go back and check that out. I hope you've been able to understand how to get the midpoint. So you can use that information to do more practice as you see more questions are in the app. See you in the next lesson.